Good morning. Day 296. Cooking down the refrigerator, freezer, and working pantry meals. Well, we got a lot of rain last night. I mean, it poured. So, but that's all right because it was getting kind of dry. And I hope we don't get as much snow down the road as we had rain last night because it was a lot. Well, I still have plenty of food in the refrigerator, freezer, and working pantry. So I'm not sure what I'm going to make today for my meals. But I'll come up with something. We have to check on my yogurt cheese, see how that's coming along. And I have one cucumber left, so cucumber sandwiches sound good, but we'll see. I do have to go out today. I don't want to, but I have to. I have to pick up a couple things, like a bulb for my microwave, and um, a couple other little things. So, no garden work today. It's too wet and too cold, and I've pretty much finished what I needed to finish. I only have to cover up a couple things yet, and that won't take too long. So I've decided that rearranging my garden boxes is going to wait till spring. Because right now, there's just everybody's too busy, and with everything being so wet, everything will weigh too much. They'll weigh too much to move because the uh, city pickers are actually self-watering. So, and that's nice because they don't dry out like the grow bags. The grow bags were a little bit hard to maintain in as far as watering this year because they do grow up, uh, get dry fast. So we'll see what next year brings. I already have my garden plans worked out on a paper, and I think it'll look neater. This year I tried companion planting, and I'll do a little bit of that, but not as much as I did um, this past summer, because I felt it really looked messy in the garden. Not that that matters. I mean, food is food, but... I like things to look nice too. So all right, we'll go look in my refrigerator shortly here and see what's for breakfast. But first I'm going to enjoy my coffee. So I'll be back. Well good morning. Cheers. To talk a little bit this morning about cooking with what you already have. Now you're going to need a recipe book for this um, or maybe not. Maybe you have uh, favorite recipes from grandma and things like that. Now since I'm vegetarian I'm going to give it that spin but it'll work with anything. Um, now the first thing that you have to have are a, a good variety of spices um, and the basics. You know, you have to have flour, sugar, salt, um, whatever your favorite spices are. If, if they're uh, Mexican or, or, um, or Indian or Mediterranean or uh, just uh, good old American spices, um, German, whatever, whatever spices that you like to cook with. And those are the, the recipes that you should have a cookbook that, um, can, that you can use those spices with. Now I just wanted to give you a, a quick example of how you can cook with what you already have. Okay, so th this, I don't want any copyright infringements here. But uh, this is a really good meatless cookbook. Uh, it's by um, 
doesn't say on the cover. Let's see. I don't know who it's by. Well, that's strange. Usually it's by somebody. <laughs> well, anyway. Um, it's a real it's it's by Publications International Limited and it just says uh, meatless delicious recipes for everyday meals okay so I'm going to give an example from this book now this book calls for uh, this particular recipe double-decker tacos and they look really good so the recipe calls for, you know, your spices, your chili, uh, onion, paprika, salt, garlic powder, sugar. Um, let's see, what else? So those are the basic uh, spices. It calls for all-purpose flour. And it calls for one pound of refrigerated plant-based ground meatless product. So... If I don't have ground meatless product, I just make my own. You could use uh, mushrooms, you can use cauliflower, you can use walnuts, you can use, um, um, let's see, what else could you use? You, could, you can use oatmeal, uh, you can use all kinds of different things to make meatless grounds. You can use TVP, which is textured vegetable protein. So that's one way where you can, if you have your basic ingredients in your uh, freezer or pantry, it doesn't matter if you don't have that product. <clears throat> you can make your own. Okay, so this calls also for, um, it calls for a flour tortilla, and um, it also calls for uh, hard shell tortillas. So, well, if you don't have those, you can make your own uh, flour tortilla very easily with some, <clears throat> some flour and water and salt, I'm not sure. Um, but you can make your own flour tortillas. Now, if you don't have the hard shell tacos, you can um, crumble up some um, uh, chips, taco chips or whatever. So you can substitute that for what the recipe calls for. Now this calls for shredded romaine lettuce. Okay, well if you don't have romaine, whatever lettuce you have, if you have bagged lettuce or if you have um, um, spinach, uh, any green will substitute for the um, romaine lettuce. Uh, let's see, now the cheese, you're going to have to have some sort of cheese or you can make your own cheese sauce. There's lots of vegetarian and vegan cheese sauces that you can make uh, that you can look up if you don't have cheese. You can make cheese sauce with carrots and potatoes and um, spices and, and milk, you know, so... Um, you can substitute that for the shredded cheese. Uh, let's see what else. Um, oh, the re it calls for refried beans. Well, if you don't have refried beans and you have canned beans, you can make yourself refried beans. Or if you keep hummus uh, in your stash, you can use that uh, instead of the refried beans. You just warm up the hummus a little bit. Uh, it also calls for tomatoes. Well, if you don't have tomatoes, you can open up a can of tomatoes or you can use um, um, salsa or you can even use ketchup, you know, just mix it with uh, maybe some sour cream or whatever you have and make a sauce out of that. Now, if you don't have sour cream, it calls for that as well and you have yogurt, you can substitute the yogurt. You could also mix the yogurt with the ketchup and make yourself a nice uh, tomato-y sauce out of that. So those are just some, of, some examples on how to cook with what you have. And if you have basic ingredients that you like, if you don't like sour cream and you love yogurt, 
Well, then stock yogurt, because you can almost interchange the two of them. Does it taste exactly the same? No. And will it taste exactly like this recipe? No. But you get the general idea of substituting. Um, if you have a dish that calls for fresh mushrooms, well, if you don't have fresh mushrooms, but you stock dried mushrooms or canned mushrooms, you can definitely use those. So um, now substituting meat, uh, the only thing I can think of for that is to substitute it with the plant-based ingredients that I mentioned five minutes ago. Um, so you can get by by doing that. And there's lots of protein. You can use tofu if you have frozen tofu on hand. Um, and if you say, oh, I hate tofu, I don't like the texture. Well, I get it. It's not my favorite texture either. But you can press it and until it's almost very dry. And then you can even um, um, chop it up and freeze it and then thaw it again because it changes the texture of it uh, when you do that. Uh, it's like with the fake and bacon that I made. Um, there's another thing you can substitute if you don't have bacon. Um, I dehydrated uh, the tofu a little bit before I uh, marinated it and cooked it. And it gives it a very firm texture. It almost gives it a, a jerky-like texture. So if you don't like the soft uh, texture of tofu, um, and you might want to go for uh, extra firm or super firm tofu because that has a very um, meaty like texture. So there's lots of things that you can substitute. Let me see if I can find something um, something else that you can substitute. If, if a recipe calls for like cauliflower, fresh cauliflower, and you don't have that, well, use frozen. Um, you know, just make sure that you uh, defrost it and get all that excess water out of it before you uh, use it. Um, you can substitute all kinds of different beans. If something calls for black beans and you don't have black beans, you can use kidney beans or, or um, you know, any other bean that you like. So, um, keeping a good stash and I'm not just saying keep a good stash because, oh, the end times are coming or whatever, you know, but keep a good stash in your house so you don't constantly have to run out, make a recipe list, and buy all those ingredients that gets very expensive. And um, you can't really save a whole lot of money doing that. Um, so when I think about what I want to cook for the week, I, you know, I look in my refrigerator and I don't let my um, ingredients in the refrigerator just sit there and then once a week take a look and, you know, clean out my refrigerator. I do it almost daily. You know, I look and see, oh, this is, you know, going to be past its uh, prime in another day. Um, and th that's what I will make my recipe around. Now, I don't really cook that much with a, a recipe book, but I do love to look at cookbooks and get ideas. I get a general idea of what I want to make, and then it's like, well, I don't have that, but I can use that. So, and the more you do this, the more proficient you're going to become at doing it. Um, like if you don't have a jar of uh, spaghetti sauce or pizza sauce, well, make your own by just getting uh, just a can of tomatoes. If you don't have tomato sauce, you can blitz up a can of tomatoes in the blender and add all kinds of different spices and then uh, cook it, you know, down until it, it's a consistency that you like, so it's not so watery. But uh, substituting um, mushrooms for meat, uh, a lot of vegetarians and vegans do that. And I guess 
it, it's something that I've learned because I, what you call, veganize everything. Now, I'm not a vegan. I'm a vegetarian because I do eat eggs and cheese. Um, but I mostly, if I can, I do follow uh, vegan recipes. Um, you can make uh, seitan. You can make ground beef or chicken or whatever just by uh, changing up the spices in your seitan. And if you're a meat eater, um, you might want to try and give some of these vegetarian alternatives a try. That way you could cut down on your meat consumption, which is getting to be ridiculously expensive. And, you know, one, one or two days a week, um, make a vegetarian meal. So anyway, that's how I save money on food. And as you all know, uh, this month I'm not buying any food. <clears throat> I may not buy any food next month. And honestly, I mean, other than my produce um, and eggs maybe, I'll buy those since I don't have chickens because I, I'm not allowed to have them. But, um, you know, I buy very little food other than um, maybe a flash food box or I'll go on the flash food app and I'll buy things that are on markdown there and then I make my recipes around that. So um, it's really an economical way to cook. Plus that you don't have to run out to the grocery store once or twice a week. Um, I mean, I haven't missed going to the grocery store at all. And, uh, you know, either daily or a few days ahead of time, I'll look and see what do I have, and then I'll make my meals around that. So that, for me, is a good way to use up what I have, have very little food waste, and make delicious meals. You know, if, if a recipe calls for, let's say, zucchini, um, and it's, you know, you saute the zucchini, well, it's a, it's a different flavor, but you can even saute cucumbers. I've done that before, and it turned out just nice. It turned out just fine. So you can substitute one vegetable for another. If something calls for um, Brussels sprouts, like shredded Brussels sprouts, you can definitely substitute it with shredded cabbage or something else in the brassica family, maybe some bok choy or um, even broccoli leaves if, if you're a gardener. They're edible too. You can chop those up and use those. So anyway, uh, learn about, um, you know, what different things you might want to substitute for other things uh, as far as spices go. Uh, buy your basic spices that you like and you can create your own spice mix. And then, um, you know, uh, look up on, on um, Google, you know, different recipes for, <clears throat> let's say, taco seasoning or Italian seasoning or, you know, whatever, and then just... Uh, make your own and keep it available. And another thing that I like to do um, is have different sauces available. You know, have have like maybe, uh, even if it's just uh, store-bought sauces, but you can change up the flavor of any meal. Let's say you have um, a lot of mixed vegetables. Well, you can make those Asian by adding um, maybe a peanut sauce or, you know, whatever, whatever Asian sauce you like, sweet and sour. Or you can make it Italian by adding um, tomato sauce or, or uh, you know, um, you can make them any flavor you want because um, they're very versatile and it's a good way to use things up. Or you can make a stew out of them. Uh, you can make a meatless stew with beans by throwing some beans in there and then serve it over rice. 
So those are just some of the tips that I have for you about cooking with what you have on hand and how to do it and not wasting food. Um, and you will save so much money. It, it's, you know, it's amazing how much money you'll save that way. So, okay, um, it's going to be chilly today, and I noticed when I looked at the uh, weather forecast, it's going to start going down into the 30s. So I have to get out in the garden at some point, and um, I still have chard out there that I want to get before we have a hard freeze. Um, it's more like in the upper 30s, and uh, actually chard and, and uh, broccoli, all the brassicas, uh, kale, um, all those vegetables can take some frost. Uh, so, um, and, and they say they get sweeter, actually, once they've had a little frost on them. So anyway, um, that's my little uh, chat today on um, using up your food and also um, how to cook with ingredients that make recipes that you don't have all the ingredients for. Just substitute what you do have. But the key to that is keeping the basics that you like um, in your pantry and in your freezer and um, supplementing that with things that you buy uh, for your refrigerator. All right, I will be back with some breakfast in a little bit and we'll see what we can find in the fridge. Okay, well, I'm still out shopping and uh, I stopped at Dollar Tree and I picked up some cleaning supplies because I'm getting in that mode. So the first thing that I wanted to clean was my car windshield because it's disgusting. So I picked up a bottle of this auto glass cleaner. Totally awesome. So far so good. And then I picked up some washcloths. They're microfiber and one of these things to clean a fan. And I just did this. And that way it made it easier to clean my windshield. So it's looking pretty good. Um, I also bought one of those, um, the dust pans with the handle because this handle fits in here and then I can reach over to the other side. But um, it doesn't screw in. You kind of have to just push it in and it stays pretty well. So I got those two things and a bunch of other things. But while I was out, I didn't eat breakfast before I left. So I stopped at Penn Station and got one of my favorite sandwiches. And that's the uh, spinach and artichoke. Um, and that was $6.49. So I picked one of those up. So it's time to start cleaning now that the garden is pretty much put to bed. Not all done, but most of it. And what doesn't get done, I don't care. It'll, it'll hold up till spring. So I'm going to go ahead and eat my, actually it's lunch at this point, but I was really hungry, so, and it's like, oh, Penn Station is right there. So I went and got a sandwich. So I will be back when I get home, and uh, I'll show you what I got at Dollar Tree. Okay, well, here I am. I got back from the Dollar Tree, and I spent $30 at the Dollar Tree. So let me show you what I bought. It's nothing exciting, nothing epic. It was actually... It's probably kind of boring, but... All right, so I got this little bin, and I put the dog toys in here. And it's nice and shallow so that they can reach their toys. 
So they kind of chewed up the last one that I had for them, and they only actually had one of these left. So I got this one. Um, I got a pack of four gray wash rags, and I showed you in the car what I did with one of them to clean my window. <laughs> it's just one of those fan things. So I got that, and it worked pretty well cleaning the windows with the um, awesome car window cleaner that I got. I left that in the car, so. Um, I got these um, flap ties with three free bags. So I use these to clean up the dog mess or to put um, donations in. So I got a bag of the uh, box of those. Um, I got more zip ties because I'm always using zip ties in the garden, and zip ties can be expensive if you buy them, um, you know, at a regular store, even at Walmart. So these are nice and long, and I use these for my fencing out in the back because I still have to do a little work on that in the spring, so I'll have plenty. Then they had these, you know, usually they have uh, to clean up messy things, you know, like dog mess or something like that. I usually will wear gloves. And they have those real cheap gloves that are like putting a plastic, uh, real thin plastic bag on your hands. So I got these instead. These are, um, they're large, but it doesn't matter. Um, they're vinyl gloves. And there's a hundred in there. And the other ones, the real cheap ones, there's a hundred in there too. So I got these instead. Then I got these uh, socks, some of my nice fluffy socks. I wear these at night in the evening when I get in my jammies, and I like the, um, um, what do you call it, oh, you know, the pattern, can't think of the name of it. But anyway, I got that, and I've discovered that my dogs don't like the smell of pine saw, <clears throat> so I've been making a pine saw spray, and when they have an accident, um, I use like half of this and half water when they have an accident. I just kind of clean it with this, and then they tend not to go back there. Then I got um, I got one candle because I burned up two, so I figured I'll replace it with one. I still have plenty, but uh, I wanted to replace the couple that I burned up. And then I got a Type C charger in orange, kind of goes with my living room. So I got one of those. I'm always picking those up. Then I got one of these baskets, again for dog toys, and because it's orange, I can put it in the living room. Now this one's a little deeper, but they have a couple toys that are bigger, so um, I'll put their toys in that basket because uh, they actually have two baskets of toys and they're both sort of looking pretty sad. <clears throat> then I have three candles on my mantle and they're um, kind of a little more decorative um, candle holders and I don't want to melt the, the candles in there so I ended up getting three of these in the vanilla scent. So those are going in there and I like to light those in the evening. So I got this too. And again it's orange so it's one of those collapsible bags. I figured I could use it to put something in. I always have things floating around in my living room so I can use this to gather up the things there. So I got that. And I got another duster. 
Uh, I want to use this for my blinds. And then I got this um, dustpan. But I really got the dustpan because I kind of wanted a shorter stick than what you can get with the brooms. And then this fits in there. It doesn't screw in, but it's fairly tight just to extend it a little bit. So it makes it a little longer, but not as long as a broom handle. And I can still use it as a dustpan. So it just kind of pops in and out. So I got that to clean with. And let's see, not too much more. I got some uh, some cleaning vinegar. So I got that. And that is 64 ounces. So I'm just going to clean with that. And just a couple more things. I know this is not a real exciting haul, but <clears throat> I mainly bought things that I need and that I can use. So I got just a thing of aluminum foil and I just got the, the cheaper one, the 40 foot one because I really don't cook with aluminum foil that much. If anything I just maybe will wrap a pizza in it and I don't need um, for cooking I have the longer one but just for general use the, the cheap stuff works just fine. And, well, like I said, I got three of these. And then I got this. Um, I have little owl planters. And uh, Miss Chloe decided she didn't like what was in one of them. So I'm just going to replace it with this. And it's got the orange and the green and the gold that I have in my living room. So, let's see, is there anything else? Um, I, well, while I was at Walmart, I was picking up a prescription. And I did pick up this really lightweight uh, Bissell vacuum because I'm finding that my regular vacuum cleaner is just getting too heavy and and so I, I don't want to use it so I don't so this is lightweight and this particular one has the uh, the turbo so it's got the brush that um, rotates so I picked that up because of my all my little throw rugs in the living room I figure that might clean that better so, I don't know. We'll see. I'll try this out. If it doesn't work, I'm going to take it back. So that was $39, which I thought was very reasonable. And that was it. That was my haul today. Altogether, I spent, oh, about $69 in tax. So, okay, just wanted to share my haul with you, and now it's dinner time, and I'm just having leftovers. I'm going to finish up the leftovers that I have, and uh, tomorrow I'll have to cook again. So, all right, I will be back shortly, and we'll see what's for dinner. Okay, let's see what's for dinner this evening. It's just going to be leftovers. So let's take a look at how much drained off our cheese. And this is, uh, this is the second amount like this. So quite a bit drained off. So we'll take that over and take a look at it. And give it a little taste. I still have this... Uh, one little lonely fish fillet from the other day. And I'm going to have a fish sandwich. So, before I make anything new, I'm going to eat up what I have. I still have the green beans. I need to do something with those. 
and I'm going to have some cheese on my fish sandwich and I'm also going to have some uh, garlic mayo so let's see and then I'm going to finish up my macaroni and cheese and I think I will have some of my homemade pickles too all right just using up what I have and I will meet you at the stove I forgot to take the light bulb with me, so I couldn't get a new light bulb at Home Depot today. So this cheese is looking a whole lot like cream cheese. It's pretty thick now, which is nice. So I'm going to try this on a cracker. And it's like a schmear cheese. So let's give it a taste. It's good. It's really tasty. It um, it's tangier than cream cheese. But you could always add a little bit more sugar. All in all, I'd say it's good. I'm going to stick this back in the fridge for another day. And I have one cucumber left. So I might eat that for breakfast. So pretty much the only thing I'm going to do right now is put together my dinner. So I'll be back. Okay, I just zapped this in the microwave for like 10 seconds just to take the cold out since I leave my bread in the refrigerator. And then uh, I'm just going to make a sandwich out of this. I heated this up in the microwave and I'm just going to put some mayo on there. I used to like McDonald's fish sandwiches, um, but I haven't had one of those in years. I was pescatarian before I became a uh, vegetarian, so I used to eat them then, but like I said, it's been a long time. So, okay, there is my fish filet sandwich. And then I'm just going to have a couple of these pickles. These were so easy to make. So if you have excess uh, cucumbers and you, they're starting to go bad, well, don't wait until they're starting to go bad, but... Um, throw them in a brine. You know, the brine is really easy to make. Same thing for all your veggies. You know, stick them in your brine and they'll be tasty and they'll last a little longer. So I still have some, a uh, little bit in here. I have a couple of uh, onions. So, and those have been in the refrigerator all oh, about a week anyway. I'm not sure how long they'll last. I just <clears throat> eat them until they start getting mushy. Then I don't like them anymore. So this is just the mac and cheese. So this is a very quick dinner. I ate up all my leftovers. And... Um, Probably tomorrow I'll have to cook something, unless I go visit my mom. I don't know. I don't know what tomorrow will bring. 
So anyway, there is my dinner. Filet of not fish, mac and cheese, and homemade refrigerator pickles. So, all right, my friends, that's all I have for you today. I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself and be good to others. God bless you, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. Thanks for watching.